Okay, so what we're going to do is look at the uh, derivative of exponential functions. And let's start with the base, basic one, the one where we build, build up from. Um, take f of x equals e to the x. And this is the graph of e to the x here. Um, and the funny thing about this particular number here, e, um, the actual gradient function for this, so the derivative of f of x equals e to the x, the derivative is actually just e to the x. It's exactly the same. So derivative of e to the x is e to the x. That means if I want to work out the gradient on this graph at uh, this value of, let's say, 2, okay, so going up to 2 here, whatever that value is, so the coordinate would be 2 across and e to the power 2, that would be the coordinate, but also the gradient of the tangent line would also be e to the power 2, okay, so that is the derivative function of... Um, e to the power uh, of e to the power of x, it is e to the power of x. And it appears in your formula book as well here. So here's f of x equaling e to the power of x, and the derivative function is again e to the power of x. It's just a funny property that's come about from e to the power of x. If you want to see the proof, um, I'll put some links underneath this clip so you can see the proof as to why this is. Um, anyway, let's, let's look at some examples now, okay? So let's just look at one simple example. What if we had the function f of x, and actually let me let me make it y equals y equals six times e to the power of x, okay? So this is six times e to the power of x. I'm not going to use the product rule here, because what we can do is use a chain rule as in, instead to differentiate this. So this is um six times e to the power of x. Well let u equal e to the power of x, then y would just equal 6u, right? Okay, so then dy by du would just be 6, and du by dx would just be e to the x, because the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. Now multiplying these two together gives us dy by dx, which is 6 times 6 times e to the x. Well, hang on, what, what, what have we got here? we just got the same thing. Okay, so derivative of y equals 6 times e to the x is just 6 e to the x. And in general, y equal to some number, let's say n, times e to the x, the derivative of it is just n e to the x. Okay, so there's one thing to remember there. Okay, All right, um, so that's when you have a number when you have a number times e to the x, all right? Um, it's just itself again, the derivative is just itself. But let's look at something where the power of the exponential is a little bit more complicated. What if we had this y equals e to the power of 7x, okay? Well, using the chain rule, this is effectively a composite function, so let's make u equal 7x, then y would equal e to the power u. Well, let's differentiate these two. dy by du would equal just e to the power u. Okay. Remember, the derivative of the exponential bot on its own is just itself. du by dx would be 7. Right, I'm multiplying these two dy by dx would be these two times together. You can multiply in any which way you want. So let's do 7 times e to the power u. That makes logical sense. Let's replace the u back with the 7x. So we have 7 e to the power 7x. And there's your derivative function. Notice a pattern. Okay, notice the pattern that, well, the power differentiated is just 7 and it just goes to the front. Okay? Well, let's do let's do one more. Right, um, y equals. Let's do something a bit more complicated. It's just very similar to when we were doing the quick method for um, binomial expansion. One. It's the same for all composite functions, really, like this. Okay, 
Right, we've got something a bit more complicated in the numerator. Sorry, in the power, sorry. e to the power of x squared plus 5x. Okay, so again, let's let the power be, be x, u equals x squared plus 5x. And then we have y equals e to the power u. All right, the derivative of y power u, so we're using the chain rule, is e to the power of u again. And then dy by dx equals 2x plus 5. And then we need to multiply these. Okay, so remember to stick a bracket around this when you multiply it. So let's do dy by dx equals, let me multiply it this way around, 2x plus 5, that's you, times e to the power u, okay, it's 2x plus 5, e to the power of, replace the u back with this, so it'd be x squared plus 5x, there you go, that's dy by dx. So notice what's happened, the power, so you still have, you st hang on, you still have a copy of this, e to the power of this appears here. But then what goes in front of it is the derivative of the power to x plus 5. So it's the derivative of the power times e to, well, whatever you had at the start. Okay, so let's just do another one using that little trick, but really, really quickly. y equals e to the power of minus x squared plus 6x cubed. Okay, so dy by dx would be... Well, first of all, you know there's going to be a copy of this somewhere, so let's just copy that over here. Minus x squared plus 6x cubed. But in front is going to be multiplied by, or you could put it at the end really, it doesn't matter, the derivative of the power. The derivative of the power is minus 2x plus, and you really need a bigger bracket, 18 x squared. All right, so let me clean that up. So minus 2x plus 18x squared times e to the power minus x squared plus 6x cubed. There you go. That's the derivative of that function. Using the fact that derivative of e to the power of u is just e to the power of u, and then using the chain rule, basically. This is just the chain rule done quickly with this. Okay, in the next few clips, we'll look at how we can differentiate e to the power of x with sort of exponential functions where there's a mixture of two things using quotient and product rule and so on.